That is actually a very powerful helmet. I lose two health, but I gain two strength, which just makes it easier for me to hit. And on top of that, I get an extra attack. Even more. There's one thing I should have checked, though. The adventurers enter a crowded tavern in a nameless hamlet. As the patron grows silent before the warrior fully, uh, fully crosses the threshold, as one, the local turned to an ancient drinker popped up against the bar of a rickety stool. You'll be here for the chaos helmet, wager, he says, between great calves of foamy ill. You're not the first to try, and I doubt you'll be the last, he says. Take the following route, and if you return wearing the damn thing on your head, I'll shout you an ill. A local bursts into gills of laughter at that point. The warriors leave, determined to retrieve the item and prove the yokels wrong. Now, I do believe that's the exact same message I had when I went for the helm I'm currently wielding. Right, well, I'm gonna give that ring to someone else, because this one doesn't really buff my unit, per se. This one does, this one does, and so does that one. I'll switch it for something of that. But that helmet is definitely an upgrade, so... I even got in. Interesting. There you go. Shadow Daggers. There we go. Switch over to these things. Alright, end turn. Used a lot of magic there. How much gold did they get? Seven each. Oh. Let's push forward. There we go, into battle. Seven orcs. A, uh, a mixture of orcs. There we go, killed that one. Killed that one as well. Awesome. Berserker move in. Killed the Shaman. I'll take it. See what you guys got. Do your worst. That's not gonna work. What 
wish I could get a new shield for my Marauder. He's been using his old shield since the beginning of the game. Come on. Kill the archer. There you go. Kill this guy. Nope. Kill this guy then. There we go. There we go. Just a boss that's left. Savage Orc Big Boss. Heartbeat? No, let's use the chakra or the mind razors. There we go, that's a good hit. I'll take that. And turn. One hit. Miss. Two. Three. Nice. Alright, now I want to use the heartbeats. Nice, very nice. Let's see if we can kill him. go. 240 gold, I'll take it. Take his trash loot as well. Move forward. Move forward. You as well. Move forward. Wizard, move forward. There we go. And turn. Keep pushing before more spawn. Go in. You go in. You go in. And you go in. Push forward into battle. What do we got? Three, four, five units. Mixture of units again. We're fighting in what seems to be a hallway. Let's use our mind razors. Which one shall we use? Let's use it on the archer. Shaman. Protection from magical damage. There's your chance. Alright, so it absorbs magic. Thought maybe it absorbs uh, or decreases the chance of ranged attacks because, truth be told, we're pretty good at dodging with those things on. Alright, let them get closer. We got a troll, boss, an archer. This troll's going all out on my... Oh, jeez. He hit every single one. He's dead. Or not. Nice. Get wrecked. Ah, nah. <laughs> he still died. Alright, let's use this uh, heartbeat heal. Come on, Master Dwarf. Get back on your feet. Full health. Awesome. to twos do you have? There we go. Beat it. I used every turn I had to kill that guy. But that failed. He's gonna smack me around. Look at that archer. That guy's like super happy by shooting me. Get wrecked. Get wrecked again. to kill these guys. Let's use Mind Razors. That should teach him a trick or two. There we go. Let's kill this annoying troll. Miss. 
Miss. Alright, that was a hit. Alright, Master Dwarf, come on, I want to crit. Never mind, that ain't happening. Let's see if we can kill the Shaman. There we go, we got one kill in. Or one hit, not a kill. Let's see if we can resist his Mind Razors. He's got the Lucky Shrunken Head, but... There we go, it was not enough to deflect all of them. Enforcements. Let's kill this troll first. Alright, some really nice hits right there. There you go, death blow. Shaman is behind us. Oh, he's, he's still alive. Ow. Well, at least we killed an annoying troll. You missed. You missed. You missed again. And you hit me once. Miss. 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 Get wrecked. You're dead. Hit. Miss. Miss. Can I hit him from here? No. Have some magic on you. There we go. Can we just get out of here? I'm doing shaman all the way over there, are you kidding me? Right, here's a mind razor, eat it. Sweet, he didn't deflect any at all. Alright, so two arrows should be enough to kill this shaman. Maybe three. No, two should be enough. There we go. Alright, let's push through. At the stash, I'll take the fireball. I'll take the longbow. Anyone needs healing? The dwarf could use a healing. Let's use a heartbeat. Awesome heal there. Alright, let's push through before more stuff appears. We got four, six, six orbs. Nice crit there, mate. Come on, kill him. Oh, there we go. Double crit. Uh, what do we got here? Orc big boss and an orc boss. Let's kill orc boss first. those mind razors there we go kill the big boss go to the black orc 
It's a bunch of ragtag orcs here. It's all different kinds of orcs. Black orcs, savage orcs, bosses, war bosses. Uh, no war bosses. Prepare for the savage onslaught. Kill the black orc. Onto this savage orc. Nope, not happening. So one more. There you go. Onto the black orc. Alright, kill the black orc big boss, just melee him. That's all, and turn. He's going after my wave walker. Reinforcements, two shamans incoming, where? Behind us. Health. That's quite a bit. I don't think I can. Uh, let, where is it? Chalice of Battle, that one. Oh, so close. Let's use my Great College head. Switch to Shadow Daggers. Reflect. Try that again. There we go. Kill one. I'll take it. Right, kill the black orc. Just a black orc big boss. Send the dwarf in. Kale's armor. Kale's armor. Miss. Ew. Stunt my wizard. Let's go one down. Let's range this guy. That's one hit. That's two hits. That's three hits. Four hits, all right, I'll take it. One hit, two hits, three hits, four hits, five hits. Wow, perfect hits there. Good job, Marauder. All right, just one more arrow will do it. There we go. Got a nice accuracy lock streak there. Got two items for sale. Let's use a uh, heartbeat on the dwarf. Perfect. to the next room. Wow, this dungeon keeps going. I mean, we do get one super strong item after this, so... Alright. Go forward. Stone troll. There's literally three trolls in this corridor. One more arrow. 
Miss, try again. Miss. Well, I got my might razors. I'm pretty sure I can't dodge all three of them. Nope, he couldn't. And turn. Got one more shaman, two river trolls, and a stone troll. Are those normal? No, those are vicious trolls. Judging by the amount of attacks. Which are tougher? Stone trolls. Guy. Nope. Yes. Nope. And I range the shaman. That's not gonna work either. Alright, got mountain razors. Let me use them on the troll. There we go. One down. Hang in there, Mustard Dwarf. No, more of them. Die already. There we go. Trick, one more. Come on, last one. Always misses. my lightning fire ring, throw it on him. He's still alive. Somehow. Nine health. Uh, that does not go the way I want it. You even killed my dwarf, are you kidding me? So my wizard doesn't die. Let's use Heartbeat on the warrior. warrior Dwarf. There we go, max health. <clears throat> Start smacking the crap out of this orc. There we go, death blow. Troll vomit me. That was a nice crit there. Missed. Three arrows should do the trick. One more. Final one. There we go. Time to push on. I hope finally, the, I hope the final room soon. 
dungeon has gone on for way too long. Heartbeat. How about on yourself? You're nearly dead, man. There we go. Still not the final room, but at least this room doesn't have any encounters. Who else needs healing? Nope, nope, nope. We're pretty good on heals. Let's go. Alright, that's the final room. A savage orc big boss stands in the room, whoring at your party, mocking them for not charging immediately to engage. The creature produces the Chaos Helm in its hand. The monster intends to use the object of the quest against your warrior band in the coming conflict. Savage orc big boss, savage orc, savage orc with bow. What's crumb? Just normal savage orcs. They're not so tough. Let's use those mind razors on this guy. Clear the way for my marauder. So he can pass through. Come on, kill him. There we go. One further, nice. Kill that guy. Or not. Or not. Go away, man. Eat it. Right, that will be all this turn and turn. Well, so much for your heroic strength, you just missed me three times. Can't hurt what you can't hit. Got a lot of archers though. Gotta take out some of those. Crump. Battle Rage, let's go. Feeling lucky? Well, let's go. Alright, you're pretty lucky, gotta admit. Not just very lucky, you're very, very lucky. There you go, get one. Let's see if I can kill this guy. Alright, finally killed one with my bow. It's been a while since I killed anything with my bow with my marauder. Alright, he's gone lucky all of a sudden. So I have these archers, jeez. Eat this. There we go. He's down. To a blot rage. Wait. She's still pinning me. Blot rage. Let's heal myself up while I damage him. There we go. That takes care of Wasp Crump. I still have my ring? No, uh, no, I used it. Who are you gonna shoot at? Alright, my Marauder. Weird choice, but oh well. 
That's your choice. That's your final wish. He's gonna kill you with that blade. No matter how lucky you are, you are dying. There we go. The relic's current owner is slain. With all the monsters dead, the warriors sheathe their weapons, tired but victorious. They quickly locate the Chaos Helm. It's part of a larger horde, but adventurers as professional treasure hunters are happy to take as well. After all, if they don't claim it, somebody else or something else will. Gladly take that helmet. I'm gonna have to do a bit of reshuffling with my items. Let's go to high deck. Right, let's check. Uh, got this epic helmet, which I'll be replacing this lightning ring with. I think that was one of my first legendaries. Should probably give it to the dwarf. He's got 12 strength and heal wounds, so I'll keep the heal wounds. This is toughness. Right, keep this potion. Got a little scroll of healing. Keep that one as well, give it to... Let's just keep it here, I'm gonna have to sell some of this stuff. Mark it. Sapphire again. Superior Holy Artifact. Large Fire Bomb. Long Bow. Pure Sapphire again. Flawless Ruby. Uh, knuckle Dusters, 5 damage increased. Chance to hit with a melee weapon. Nah, sell it. Got this Scorched Helmet. I won't be using that one anymore. Fine, what do they have here for sale? That's high damage though for the Ogre. Greater Scroll of Healing. I'll buy one. I'll buy a Legendary Orb of Might as well. Let's start selling some of these potions. I'm not using them anyway. Stack up on uh, stack up on legendaries. There we go. How about the rest of the items, I didn't check actually. Plus one toughness for the marauder, the green one. Toughness, wounds per turn, toughness, chance to block. Right, I can't use any of that. That's it. Let's get out of here. Grey Wizard, one power, four power stone. Power store, four to six. Okay with that. How about this? That's Iron Gut? No, Troll Slayer. Don't need that. Don't need that. This one was complete. This one was complete. This one was complete. So the only one that's not complete is this one. We get this one. Right, not bad. I have to go that way anyway, so might as well. Let's go. I might consider equipping that. Skytians were an ancient hermetic race that were wiped out by the ogres. Bastards. Stop killing people. Your party makes camp and bat dawn. During the night, two of their numbers have a strange and unerring dream. Within the dreamscape, they came upon a lost artifact that thrums with arcane might. It is the Golden Skill Amulet and has been lost for centuries. Through myriad strange visions, your dreaming warriors are guided to a catacomb a few miles from where their sleeping bodies lie. Within, the helmet awaits. Got 
six attacks without berserk. Wow. That's an interesting. It's the first time I see an up obstacle in the tunnel. Literally just blocks off half the tunnel. Creating one heck of a choke point. Ah, so we were fighting orcs, alright. Let's see, two, three, four, six. Shaman right in front of me. Too bad for you, guy. There we go, get wrecked. Is this another shame? You guys got awful positioning. So do I. <laughs> so do I. No, I think that's a big boss. Yeah, it is. Black Orc big boss. Quite tough. A lot of attacks. Didn't know it was possible, but their accuracy is even worse than mine. Master Dwarf just got a double crit, a triple crit in a row. Beat it, Orc Boss. Two black orcs, that's all that's left. Turn around. Reinforcements. Skeletons. Beat it, you skeleton champion. There we go. You as well, Black Orc. There we go. With a bit of luck, this champion as well. Nope. There we go. Awesome. Mind Razors, where are you? All of them are down. Killed the entire reinforcements, consisting of skeletons. Could you stop doing that, please? There we go. It's not bad of a weapon. Right, let's 
let's try this uh, heartbeat. Let's use it on the Weight Watcher. Hello. That's that heartbeat. Weight Watcher. There we go. 12 wounds. I'll take that. Definitely the uh, dwarf could use a heartbeat heal. There we go. Take that. Push onwards. So we're fighting both orcs and undead. Interesting. Launch the Gorak Hammerai. Alright, see if it gets hit. Yep, it did. Six damage. Battle. Golden Skull Amulet. Wait, we're already there? That was quick. Nine orcs. That's it. Wow. That's a small dungeon. I wish some of these dungeons were like this. Some of these dungeons tend to go on forever. Gotta create some choke points here. Now we know where the undead are coming from. They're literally inside a crypt. Black Orc. I don't think we've seen those yet. There's a bit of everything around here. That guy's dangerous. That might be the strongest Orc we've encountered so far. Black Orc War Bolts. I don't see it because th it has a name. A lot of archers. Definitely have to kill some of these. turn. Four orcs left. Alright, my turn. Might razors on these guys. Seven hits there. Come on. Kill him. It's making these things so hard to hit. Right, end turn. This could be very bad. 
Well, you can only hit the dwarf once and then he can't move, so. Endure. Endure. Nice. Die, frickin' orc. You as well, the one with the boat. One between the eyes. You're an elven archer. You take five arrows just to kill one dude that's already dead. Alright. Okra mind razors. There you go. He's at 100 health. I'll take that. No reinforcements, please. Death song. Down. Alright, gonna throw just a very tiny heal on him. Just enough to get him up. And then throw, throw Might Razors at him. There we go, 11 damage. There we go, crit. Normal attack. 1. 2. Four. Miss. Five. Battle Rage. Eight attacks. Eight attacks. I think eight is the max. Down he goes. I have to consider if I want that one or not. Because I do miss out on an extra arrow attack, which is quite useful. Breaking two to Grandstad. A lot of split offs from this one. We got Thungzig. We have a town to the southeast and to the southwest. Grandstad. That's a boar boy. Orc boar boys. Orc boys? What was it? I think that's what they were called. Headhunters. Grandstad is a village. Small town, really. It lies at the northern end of the Blackfire Pass. As such, it has formed a bulkhead against many greenskin, greenskin invasions, which have flooded through the infamous mountain pass. Unless the armies of the Empire are mustered in time and can successfully block the pass, which has happened on occasion. Usually, though, it is Grandstad that has felt the blow that has felt the blow of the Orc walks most keenly. Grandstead only endures because of its stubbornness of its fatalistic population and the largest purses of the Lightdorf army are set, to give, are set to give for tradesmen and their families to settle there. It's undeniable in the Empire's interest that, the, uh, that there is some settlement close to the past to garrison troops and proficient border forces. Still, the Lightdorf family does not have to bribe everyone that settles in town. Though Blackfire Pass lies to the border princess, the true frontier, and so Grandstead has grown into a prosperous trading post. For those leaving the Empire, it is often the last port of civilization before embarking into the wilderness beyond. And so, with, uh, those with an entrepreneurial spirit have thrived in the recent years. The secret is to making money in Grandstead, of course, is knowing when to leave before the next invasion rolls in. Your party arrives in Grandstead to find an anxious air about this place. Shops are closing early, one or two businesses have boarded up. The Avalent Mountain Guard patrol the streets with a cautious stride. Suddenly. A little fidgety man bursts out of one of the small civic buildings that administer the village and surrounding area. You there, he shouts at the group and makes his way towards them. I need your help. You wear the trapping of a sword for hire. I need to buy your services, he says, as his ink-stained fingers are ready to reaching for a leather pouch dangling at his side. It's the baker and the tanner, he says. As if there was enough of the explanation, the administrator gives a pot upon shrug and then continues. They've gone, up sticks and shut off. Idiots have got wind of the rumors about an orc invasion. There are always rumors about invasions. Anyway, they were happy to take coin from the count treasury and settle there. Here. But then the term was three years, not three months. I need you to go find them and bring the cowards back. We need bread and leather for even the orcs are coming. Uh, uh, we, need, uh, we need bread and leather and even if the orcs are coming, that's not going to change. I've got 500 golds for you now. He says throwing you the pouch. Fetch me the tenner and you'll get a large extra bounty. 
Although he's gone east for Sigmar knows what reason, bring back the baker and he'll get a smaller bounty because he's incredibly fat and stupid and shouldn't be hard to track. <laughs> and shouldn't be hard to track. Uh. Okay, uh, let's go. Bring back the baker and get a smaller. Uh, let's go with a tenor. Got almost 20,000 gold. My legendary items. I've got this nice sword. Let's look at it. 11 to 13 damage. A one handed weapon. Short sword, long sword. So it does more damage, but I think I prefer this one because it increases the chance of hitting. Now we have this Way Watcher thingy. Eggs. Max wounds, not too interested about that. One strength and one melee attack. Nah, that one's going for sale. I'd rather have my range. Sell. Sell this thing. Yep, I know. Sell the longsword. Yep, I know. Sell the potion of toughness. Let's see. We got a hammer. And we got a must. Dwarf iron breaker. Chance to block plus two toughness. Let's see what you got. Hmm. Tough call there, man. Plus two toughness. The toughness is nice. What can I throw away if I go for that shield? This potion of healing. Switch it with, uh, I don't know. Three melee attacks, I guess. All right, let's get that shield. So, buy. Go here. Iron Breaker, where are you? Get the shield. Go to the wizard. Trade those. Keep that one. Sell the shield. Buy. What else do we have? Ring of Greater Strength. Plus three strength. Not bad. Sure striking. Significantly increased chance to hit with melee weapons. That sounds interesting. Mainly for you and the dwarf, though. Ah, nah. I'm okay with that one, man. No rings. Melee weapon. Yeah, I was just thinking if it's with a bow as well, but... Nope. Alright, so we got this one. Iron, Ogre, Iron Gut, Orc, Vampire, um, interesting, I mean, toughness is nice, I guess, what do I have, I still have that crappy shield from the start, don't I, yeah, uh, but I don't really have room to equip that, now that I think of it. Toughness and ranged attack. Yeah, never mind. Right, well anyway, let's do the side quest. We got Funzig here, we got another one here. I'm not sure if the road continues beyond Munzig. Or Umunva. I think this one is connected to that. Anyway, let's do our side quest first. Hat Hunters, let's go. 